my amazing friends let's solve for the value of x since what we are looking for is our power the only way to get the value is to introduce log to both sides of the equation okay so we introduce log we have log 60 raised to the power of x is equal to log 72 see if you stop that now remember that log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a okay all right so that means that we can write this as x multiplied by log 16 is equal to log 72. now let's divide both sides by log 16 okay so we have x log 16 divided by log 16 is equal to log 72 divided by log 16. now log 16 we divide itself to give us one one times x will give us x is equal to log 72 divided by log 16. now please click the subscription button turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us okay Always tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, recall that 72 can be written as 8 multiplied by 9, right? So we have x is equal to log 8 multiplied by 9 divided by log 16, okay? Now, recall this law of log reading that says that log a multiplied by b is equal to log a plus log b, okay? So that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 8 plus log 9 divided by log 16, okay? All right, now a plus b divided by c is equal to a divided by c plus b divided by c. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 8 divided by log 16 plus log 9 divided by log 16. Okay, now let's simplify this further. I would like you to watch this to the end. Yes, because the most interesting aspect of this video is where I proved that the answer we got is correct. So don't miss that, all right? So we have, remember that 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 and 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 2 to the power of 3 divided by log 2 to the power of 4 okay plus now 9 is equal to 3 squared okay 9 is equal to 3 squared so we have plus log 3 squared divided by log now log 16 16 is 2 to the power of 4 now using the power rule we can bring this down to multiply log 2 right so we can write this as x is equal to 3 multiplied by log 2 divided by 4 multiplied by log 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 3 divided by 4 multiplied by log 2. Okay, now we continue. We can write this as x is equal to log 2. We divide itself to give us 1. So 3 over 4 is what we have left. Then plus 2 we divide itself to give us 1, divide 4 to give us 2. So we have 1 over 2 log 3 divided by log 2. Now, using the change of base, remember that log A divided by log B is equal to log A base B. Okay? Yes. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to 3 over 4 plus half 
log 3 base 2. And this is the value of our x. Now, it is time to prove that the answer we got is correct, okay? So the question says, this is wasting my time. Let me use this, okay? So the question says that 16 to the power of x um, is equal to 72, okay? 16 to the power of x is equal to 72. And this is the value of our x. So we have 16 to the power of 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Is this equal to 72? All right. Now remember that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that means that we can write this as this. 16 to the power of 3 over 4 multiplied by 16 to the power of half log 3 base 2. Okay? Now, is this really equal to 72? All right. Now, remember that A to the power of M over N is equal to the nth root of A raised to the power of M. Okay, this is equal to the nth root of a raised to the power of m. So that means that we can write this as fourth root of 16 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by, now 16 is something as 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so because I want to have the same base here. So we have 2 to the power of 4, now raised to the power of 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 all right now is this really is this really equal to 72 now looking at this fourth root of 16 is 2 so what we have here is 2 to the power of 3 so we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by now remember that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n that is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, okay? So it means that this is same thing as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by half log 3 base 2, right? Now, is this actually equal to 72? Permit me to clean more of this, okay? All right. Now, I'll write what we have here, so right, to be clear, what we have there is 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by half log 3 base 2. Is this equal to 72? That is what we have over there. Now, this 2, we divide this and we have 2. So what we have here is 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 log 3 base 2, right? Now, is this equal to 72? Now, 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8. So we have 8 multiplied by, we have 2. Now, this 2 will come up using the power rule and become the power of 3, right? So we have log 3 squared base 2. Now, is this equal to 72? So we have 8 multiplied by, 2 to the power of log 9 base 2, is this really equal to 72? Now, before we go further, we need to explain a law in log reading. Yes, this law says that A raised to the power of log B base A is equal to B. A raised to the power of log B base A is equal to B. So you can notice that this and this, that they are the same, right? So that means that we can write this as 8 multiplied by, since this and this are equal, this is same thing as 9, right? Is this actually equal to 72? That means 8 times 9 is 72, as we all know, and 72 is equal to 72. That proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching.